Hello everyone, my name is Sam Morris and I am a Solutions Architect at GitLab. Today I'm going to show you how to do GitLab CI for monorepos, the new and improved version. So just to level set here, a monorepo in the GitLab context is a single GitLab project, like the one I have on my screen here called Monorepo Playground, that has multiple different applications inside of it. So in this case, I have a Java application as noted by the Java directory, and the Python application uh, as noted by the Python directory, which has separate files and whatnot to build out those applications. So in a previous implementation of GitLab CI for monorepos, uh, we did some hacky things with extending jobs um, to mitigate the fact that we didn't have a conditional includes for rules changes. But I'm happy to announce that as of GitLab 16.4, we actually have the ability to uh, use include with rules changes. So we can include separate configuration files based on changes to specific directories in a project. This is super powerful in the monorepo context because it means that if we make a change in say the Python directory, um, we can trigger the inclusion of a Python CI file that we also have specified in that directory, but not the Java CI file in the Java directory. So this is the documentation page for it. Check it out. Um, just a caveat here to keep in mind about pipelines um, having jobs run unexpectedly when using the changes feature. So essentially if you use changes, changes will always evaluate to true and pushing to a new branch or a new tag uh, to GitLab. So if you try this out and you, um, you know, open your IDE, make a change and commit and push to that branch, then also create the merge request, you'll see the pipeline kick off and show all the jobs, um, you know, that can be included, right? So that first run of the pipeline will include everything. Um, you can kind of mitigate this in terms of the visual aspect by creating a separate branch, then doing your changes to that branch, and then committing and pushing those and then opening the merge request. So that first push to the branch is done when you create the branch. So just something to keep in mind that if you see you know, my Python and my Java job are both running that it's because of this, um, this caveat here of it always evaluating to true. So let's take a look at this. Um, I already did the creation of the branch update Python July 10th, because that's today's date. And now I can just make a, a simple change here. So I'm going to use my web IDE just to make this a little bit faster. and update my Python directory. So I'm going to do a new file and do like a hello python.py file. And I actually have GitLab Duo enabled, write a hello world function, which allows me to do code suggestions at a click of a button and writing one comment. So, I mean, of course this change isn't too crazy. We're just doing a hello world, but just to generate some code for the sake of this, I was able to do a quick code suggestion. All right, so let's commit created hello Python. We're gonna commit our change to the branch that was pre-created here. Hit create merge request. And let's just hit the create merge request button, speed through this process. All right, so two pipelines should have kicked off. We do have some jobs that run specifically in a merge request pipeline, um, just based on some security scans that I have configured here in GitLab Ultimate. But you'll see here in the pipeline that only Python, our top level job and Python build job are running. And we also have queued up um, not only our security scanning jobs, but our Python test job. So essentially when I made that change to the Python directory, it only kicked off a build and test jobs specific to Python. Looking at what's going on under the hood here, we can take a look at my pipeline file. And this is that conditional includes configuration. So we include um, the Java CI file if there's a change to the Java directory. And we include the Python CI file if there's changes to the Python directory. This is a much cleaner implementation than the previous version of this for the monorepo playground. And I encourage you all to check it out if you have monorepos in your GitLab projects and you want a more clever way of doing GitLab CI that's a lot more intuitive. The conditional includes 
based on rules changes. Thank you.